So guys, in this video, I'm going to teach you how we can build our own AI image generation app in React JS using OpenAI Delhi 3 model. So this is going to be a very interesting project. So I suggest you watch this entire video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so, and let's start coding now. So guys, here is a quick sample of the project that we are going to build in this video. So here in the project, I have a simple text field here where I can write any kind of text and then there is a button to click which says generate an image. So basically I can uh, write any text in this text field and I can generate any image and when I click on generate image, our Delhi 3 model is going to create an image based on our imagination that we have written in our text field so this is a very simple project that we are going to build so let's give it a try so i'm going to put a text here that is i need an image of a cat playing guitar and i'm going to click on generate image so you can see that daily 3 model has generated a very beautiful image of a cat playing a guitar we will see step by step how we can integrate daily 3 model into our react application and build this kind of features so watch this video until the end and will build this application from scratch so guys i have a new react application that's running on my local host 3000 i've also opened the folder in my visual studio code so this is where we are going to try and build the ai image generator using openai delhi 3 model so to start building let's remove all the default code that we have here and save it so we can see that we have a blank application where we are going to build this entire application from scratch so i'm going to be using some material ui packages and components in this application so i'll go to my new tab and search for material ui install so here on the first link i should be able to find a command to install material ui in this application so i'll go back to my react application open a new terminal and install material ui using that command. so now material ui has been installed in this application and because we'll be using an open ai delhi 3 model to build this application so we are also going to install OpenAI. So for that, we are going to run a command that is npm install OpenAI in this application and hit enter. So I think now we have all the packages that we are going to need in this application. So let's start building this application. For that, I'm going to import some components that I'm going to need from Material UI. And the first component that we are going to need is a text field. And we are also going to need a circular progress from Material UI and a button that we are going to used to generate an image so we are importing three components text field circular progress and button from material ui so here in my div component i'm going to place my text field component and i can put a label on this component and the label can be imagine so let's save it and see on the screen so here on the screen you can see that we have simple text field where we can enter some text and this is looking good so only thing we have to do here is to bring this text field in the center of the page so we are going to do that so to do that i'm going to put some styling here i'm going to mention style as margin top and we can assign a margin top to 10 percent so if i save this and go back to my browser i can see that this text field has come in the middle of the page so after the text field right here we are also going to need a button that is to generate an image so i'm going to place a button right after my text field and this button is going to have a text generate image so we have a button here but we would like this button to be below the text field somewhere here so i'm going to put some more styling on the div tag here i can make it as a flex and i can specify the flex direction to be column so all the components under this div tag will be aligned vertically so now we can see that the components are aligned vertically but they are taking too much space on the screen so we are going to assign some width to these components so i'm also going to mention that all the components should be aligned in the middle of the page so i can say align items to center and here on the text field i can define a width of 300 pixels so we can see that the text field size is reduced to 300 pixels now so this is looking good so for the button i'm going to mention a property that is variant on my button should be contained because i need a solid button to appear on the screen so now we have a simple button here so let's put some more styling to this button i'm going to change the background color of this button to black and put some margin between these two components 
so it should have some space between these two to put some space between the components i can mention the property that is gap and gap can be five pixels if i save it and see now there is a gap of five pixels between the components so on the button i'm also going to put some styling where i can say make the background of my button which is background color as black so now i have a button in black color which is better so now what we are trying to build here is that let's say if i enter something here like generate an image of a dog playing with the bowl and click on generate image as soon as i click on generate image i should be able to see the image here and that image is going to come from our api that is open ai api so we are going to have a look at how we can call the open ai api but before that we are going to put an on change function on this text field and on click function on this button so to do that let's go back to the code and here we can create a state variable and we can name it as a prompt and set prompt and my initial prompt can be empty so this prompt is basically the text that i'm going to enter here basically the prompt that i'm going to give to my open ai api so the prompt will be something like cat playing guitar so this is a prompt that we are passing to our ai model and based on that prompt it's going to generate an image so that's why i have named it as a prompt so here on the text field we see that we have set the value of the initial prompt to an empty string but here on the text field i'm going to put an on change function so as soon as i make any changes on the text field i'm going to set my prompt to whatever the value user has entered on the text field by using event dot target dot value so as soon as somebody clicks on the button we are also going to need an on click function on our button so i'm going to put an on click function and this function will be named as handle click so let's save it and create a handle click function here so on handle click i am going to alert my prompt for now so whatever the user has entered in the text field on click of a button i am alerting it to the user the same prompt so let's check this logic on the screen so let's refresh the application so i'm going to put a prompt that is cat and generate image so i can see the alert cat so this means that our on click function and on change function on the text field is working fine so let's test it by giving some other prompt for example a dog graphic vector if i hit on generate image i'm able to see whatever prompt i've entered in my text field so this is working fine but actually here on the handle click function we don't need to alert the prompt we actually have to make an api call here to our open ai delhi 3 model and pass this prompt to that api call so we can get a response from an api that we can display below the button so the response is going to be an image so below the button i'm going to place an image so as of now on the image i'm going to put a source as url so it should display an image with a source as url but we don't have a url in our application so i'm going to create another state variable that is url and set url and this is going to be a state variable with initial value of empty string so let's see on the screen how this image is appearing for now i'm not able to see any image here because i haven't assigned any height and width to the image so i'm going to go back here in the image i'm going to put some styling here where i can say my height of the image should be 500 pixels and width should also be 500 pixels so if i save it and go back i'm able to see the image component here but because the url of this image is empty in the beginning so we are not able to actually see the image but we know that there is an image html tag here with the empty url so here i'm going to make some changes i'm going to create a variable that is loading and set loading and this variable initially is going to be false so here i'm going to put a condition on the image because as of now the image has not been generated so i don't want to see the empty image here i want to see the image only when i have the url of the image returned from an open ai api so in the beginning i'll go to the image tag so here i'm going to say that if my loading is false and my url is not equal to blank then only i want to see my image here so I'm, I'm only going to see the image if my loading is false because i have mentioned it as not loading and my url should not be an empty string then only i should be able to see this image tag here now let's go back now we see that we are not able to see the image tag because initially my loading is false and my url is also uh, empty string initially because that's what we have set here so this is good 
I'm also going to use my circular progress component here. So on the circular progress component, let's display the circular progress component right below the image. So this is my circular progress component. If I save it, and this is how it's going to look on the screen but this circular progress component i don't want to display as of now i want to display this circular progress only when my image is loading on the screen and my image will only start loading when i click on this generate image button so here i'm going to mention a condition that if my image is loading then only i'm going to show my circular progress otherwise I don't want to see circular progress on the screen so let's save it and let's go back to the application so here we see that i am not able to see any circular progress because it's going to show only when the image is loading so as of now we have not made any api call on our on click function but we are going to do that right now before that we have to jump to open ai documentation and see how to make an api call to open ai so let's go to the browser so here in the browser i'm going to search for open ai login so on the login page i'll click on login page and i want to log into api not to chat gpt so i'm going to click on api so i'm already signed in here if you don't have an account on open ai you can create one and after creating an account you should be able to see a dashboard like this so here on the dashboard when you're logged in if you go to settings and you have to set up your billing account here and then put some credit into your wallet and then generate a API keys in this tab here so I have already generated my API keys here so I'm going to use that but you can generate your API keys here and once you have done generating all your API keys we can go back to our open AI documentation so here in the documentation the API there are many kinds of APIs that open AI is providing but we are going to be using a image generation API so I'm going to click on image generation API and if I scroll down a little bit I should be able to see how to generate an image using API so they have a chunk of code here which is telling us how to make a call to open ai api image generation model which is daily 3 but before that we also have to import open ai into our application so i'm going to scroll a little bit below and here i can see that this is how i have to import open ai into my application so i'll go back and import open ai into my application and i have to create a const variable with open ai so i'm going to do that under my app component so here in the open ai component i do have to pass my api key so i can pass my api key like that so i have passed my api key here now i also have to pass another property that is dangerously allow browser to true and this property will allow us to make a api call from our react application because here if you look at the documentation they have shown how to make a call using node.js on the back end but because we'll be making a call from the front end in a react application so i'm using this property dangerously allow browser to true this will allow us to make a api call on this delhi 3 model using the same chunk of code that's here so i'm going to copy this chunk of code and go back to my application and paste it here i do not need to alert my prompt this was just to test the handle click function so i'm going to comment this and my handle click function has to be a async function to make it work so i'm going to convert it into async function because we do have a await keyword here in a chunk of code that we copied from openai api so here in the prompt they have mentioned a white sesame scat but actually we are going to pass the real prompt that user is going to enter in the text field and we have seen that we are, we are already saving whatever user enters the prompt we are saving it to the prompt state variable so i'm going to pass this variable into my api and as soon as i get a response which is going to be a url of the image so i'm going to set my url to whatever this api responds here so i can set my url to image url so if i save it and i'm also going to do one more thing as soon as somebody clicks on the button i'm going to set my loading to true so my application knows that it's loading the image and we have a condition that whenever my image is loading a circular progress should show on the application and image will be shown only when we have a response from the api along with the url so after i've set my url to the real url that i'm getting from an api i'm also going to set my loading back to false so let's save this so let's recap 
what I have done here on the handle click function. So as soon as somebody clicks on the button, this function is getting fired from this button that is generate image because we have an event listener here on click event listener. So as soon as somebody clicks on the button, my loading is set to true. And then I make a API call to my OpenAI daily three model. And when I get a response, which is a URL of the image, I've set my URL to the whatever response I have from the API and I've set my loading back to false. So let's save this and go back to the application and test all this logic. So here I can see that there is a minor error that is image URL is not defined. So here in the image URL, I'm going to define it by putting a let keyword. So let's save it, go back to the application again. So now let's test this application. So I'm going to put some keyword like I'm going to generate an image of a wolf playing guitar and hit generate image. So now image is being loaded from the API. That's why we are able to see the circular progress here. So once the image is done loading, we should be able to see the image here. So now you can see that it has generated the image here. And this image is actually being generated by OpenAI API. That is basically chat GPT. So on the chat GPT, you can also generate the images. Chat GPT is also using the Delhi 3 model and we are also using the same model in our React application. So this is how you can integrate AI into your React applications. If you have any queries on that, you can leave me in the comments. I try to answer all the queries and you should be able to find a GitHub link in the description for this project. So thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.